Oh my glob. These are not globby at all. Why do I say that? But okay, so these are like the most raved about CC BB creams ever. I didn't know which one to get in store. I was like, do I want Lumi? Do I want not Lumi? What's not Lumi? Is it like natural? Is it matte? I just didn't know which one to get. I didn't know which one was gonna be better for me. So today I'm gonna be telling you which one you should get in for all the different skin types. And we're also doing a dupe. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We're gonna be talking about it. And get it like it. <laughs> um, anywho, let's dive in. So we're gonna start out with the IT Illuminate CC Cream. And if you're curious, I have normal to dry skin. So yes, this is $38, which is kind of expensive. There is a travel size, but I didn't yet, it's, it's, it's expensive. That's why I'm sharing a dupe. But I was a little bit worried about this at first because I was like, hopefully it's not gonna be like wet. You know like when you're like putting your foundation on it and it's like wet kind of, and it's just like, ah oh, yeah, you need to set it, but you don't really want it because you want that like fresh natural look. This is amazing for that because it's not wet, but it has a slight glow, glow, glow. It sounds like I'm choking on glow. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. I don't know if it would be, um, but it's glowy without being wet. So it's very natural. You don't have, you did not want, um, you don't have to set it, which is awesome. And I love this for the days that I just don't really want to wear a lot of makeup. I just want to put this on some concealer and just some mascara and I'm out the door. You know what I mean? But there is only four shades, which I'm like, come on, it's so popular. Why wouldn't you come out with more shades? But I have the shade light. It works for me. I have like light, medium skin tone. Oh, I really, really recommend this. If you have dry to normal skin, you want a slightly luminous look, but without your skin looking wet, you don't want to set it. You just want your makeup to last long and your skin not to just break out. And there's just so many awesome ingredients. I don't know. I feel like this benefits my skin more than like damages it, if that makes any sense. I just, oh, I, I love it. Then going into the It Normal CC Cream. And this is $38. I don't know, I didn't understand this at first because I was worried it was gonna be matte or if it was just gonna be natural finish. I just, it didn't really give me a lot to like deal with, to deal with, like a lot of information. But when I tried this, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Cause like the days that I wear like more makeup, like contour, bronzer, highlight, blush, lipstick, just like when I wear more makeup, this is amazing. Cause my skin feels very lightweight, but my fin, but my fin, what? Um, no, I don't have a fin. Oh, do I? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but my skin feels very lightweight. I feel like my like skin is like really enjoying it. You know what I mean? I really like that about this. And if you have like normal to oily skin, this will be your best friend because, you know, I feel like this may get a little greasy on you. So normal to oily skin, I really recommend. Normal to dry skin, I really, really recommend this. Or even if you just want like a natural glow mm, and you don't want to really wear a lot of makeup, this is just amazing. But it only does come in four shades, which I still don't understand. Now going into dupe, which I'm so excited about. This is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation, which is $8.99 or $12.99, depending on where you get it. I got mine at Walgreens for $8.99, and it comes in 12 shades, which is awesome. So if you really, really, really want these, but you're like, dang it, they don't have my shade, and you're just trying to figure out like another option, this is awesome, because it's pretty much like these two had a baby. But there's more shades, it's lightweight, it is medium coverage, you can make it light coverage, and you can make it full coverage, so it definitely has the same amount of coverage as these and there is SPF 15 but it isn't natural SPF so if you have sensitive skin I'd still opt for these because I just love the ingredients in here these you know like there's nothing really in thing like, very special about the ingredients in here so yeah you're getting you know better ingredients but you know a little more money in a little less shade range but yes that's the dupe I really really recommend it if you can't afford this or you don't have your shade in this so that was the video. I hope it helped you out because I don't know, it's like sometimes like hard to like decide in the stores. I don't know if that's just me. Um, so maybe now you have like a little head start so you know what to get at the store. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and huggy Oh my gosh, I almost fell on you. Oh my God. <laughs>